Hello friends, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving deep into my personality to figure out what my, quote, true secret aesthetic is, deep inside my soul. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. Today we are doing something a little bit easier. I'm heading out of town for my cousin's wedding celebration at the end of this week. So for next week, I wanted to do something a little bit more chill and also a really exciting, very unexpected opportunity came up and um, that will take up a lot of next week as well. So I wanted to sit down. I was on Pinterest uploading last week's video and adding like the Pinterest boards to the description box when I came across an ad and it was for a quiz that says, this in-depth personality quiz reveals the true secret aesthetic of your soul. And it specifically called out Y2K Cottagecore and grunge as like some of the aesthetics that it is testing for. And as a self-identified aesthetic hopper, I felt like this would be a really fun quiz for me to take. So if you guys wanna take it along with me, I'm gonna link it down below. Let's have some fun. And then at the end, I'm going to style some outfits for the aesthetic that it says, is the true aesthetic of my soul. So let's hop right on in and see what aesthetic I'm actually meant to be wearing. Disclaimer before we jump into this, this is all for good fun. You guys know how I feel about aesthetics if you've been here for a long time. I truly believe that fashion aesthetics are simply meant as a tool for fun. They're meant to help people find their personal style, find communities where they're built in things people have in common, and also just like fun to try out. It's really not that deep. Let us not accept any negativity in our little space here. And um, let's just dive in and have fun. Okay, so this quiz is from a website called Bleacher Breaker. So it's this in-depth personality quiz reveals the true secret aesthetic of your soul. So underneath there's like a whole little description here. It says, you may think that you know yourself pretty well or at least have an understanding of what people can expect when they meet you for the first time. First impressions of your personality can impact what a person thinks of you from that moment forward. Still, people prove time and time again that, they, that you can't judge a book by its cover. On the outside, you may show people that you're outdoorsy and love nature, when in reality, you prefer to live in a big city. Maybe you thought you were an academic, but you've always felt drawn to other passions. The following in-depth personality quiz is designed to uncover your hidden aesthetic. Take this quiz to find out what your true aesthetic is. Okay, bear with me as my computer starts to sound like a rocket ship taking off. It is old. <laughs> okay, up first is what is your favorite movie genre? Horror, comedy, romance slash rom-com, coming of age. Coming of age and romance slash rom-com are definitely my favorites of this grouping here. I think I'm gonna pick romance rom-com. Okay, the best thing to be complimented on is my intelligence, my sense of humor, my taste in music, or my style. Younger me would have said my intelligence for sure. I actually think now my taste in music. Music is a huge part of my life. It's also part of my life you guys probably don't know that much about, but um, I was a musical theater kid. I also was in marching band and band all through middle school, high school. Yeah, music is a big part of my life. So I think, yeah, my taste in music. Um, what music genre do you enjoy the most? Just speaking of music. Hip hop, R&B, indie, punk rock or retro. Firstly, this is not fair because I love indie music, I love punk rock music, but also retro music, the rock music I like, a lot of it is from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So that kind of feels like a double-edged sword there, um, but this one's actually pretty easy for me. It's punk music is my favorite genre, so it's pop punk really, but um, we're gonna just go with punk rock. Also, I think it's crazy that pop is not on here considering it's like, maybe the second largest genre outside of rap, if not the first largest. Okay, what's your most obvious personality trait? Serious, confident, friendly, or creative? I, it's creative. Okay, the best kind of gift is a surprise party, absolutely not. Concert tickets, a signed copy of your favorite book, scrapbook memories. I'm so sorry, I love scrapbook memories, but like a signed copy of my favorite book. <laughs> Girl, you couldn't get me anything better. I would simply, I would simply pass out. <laughs> okay, my favorite wardrobe color choice is black, bold patterns, pastel tones, baby blue, pink, yellow, or neutral earthy tones, tan, beige, brown, and green. So I'm definitely between black and neutral earthy tones. When I think of my kind of style well-roundedly, I do think that like I wear lots of brown, lots of green. Okay, we've switched over to my iPad because I think it's gonna be faster on here. Okay, so the next one is how would your friends best describe you? Life at the party, 
chill and easygoing, zen or calm, blunt but hilarious. Blunt, for sure. I don't know about blunt but hilarious. Definitely not the life of the party. I think I would go with like chill and easygoing, which is funny because like I am easygoing, but I'm also like it takes a lot for me to get like worked up. But when I get worked up, I get worked up. Um, but I do think that like of these descriptors, it would probably be chill and easygoing. Um, okay, the next question is, which of the following do you most value in life? Memories, fame, individuality, and freedom. <sighs> This is existential. Fame is as is out of the question. So it's just like freedom, individuality, or memories. I really value memories, and I think you can tell that because I have like so many photos and videos and vlogs of things in life. And I also like intimately had an experience where a family member kind of lost part of their memory and had to like relive certain parts of their life. And that was really hard to experience and witness and so there's a lot of value there individuality it's definitely something i value but i'm not sure that it's like the end all be all for me i don't mind being the kind of person who likes trends and just kind of likes things other people like honestly freedom is calling to me i feel like it's got to be freedom i i think that i've been spending a lot of my life especially in recent years just like searching for something and i can't quite figure out what that thing is and I do think that some of that has to do with like a sense of I'm looking for a sense of freedom that maybe I don't quite feel yet and I'm not sh I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure about life I'm not sure who I am I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be or what I'm supposed to be doing and I think figuring those things out are really heavily tied to freedom for me. Okay, the next question is, what is your ideal first date location? An arcade, an amusement park, mini golf or a hike? First date, absolutely not a hike. Don't go on a hike with a stranger. Unless you're being set up with somebody that you like know, or maybe you're going on a date with a friend turned potential lover, do not go on a hike with that person. That is not safe. <laughs> Personally, I don't really like arcades. I think that they are kind of gross. <laughs> I mean, just think about all the hands that are touching the same machines. And Anyway, I don't really love arcades. They're not my favorite thing. An amusement park feels like a wild location for a first date, and mini golf seems really boring. So between an amusement park and mini golf, I think I'm gonna pick an amusement park because at least there's like options, right? Like you could go on rides, you can get food, you can see shows. So I'm gonna say amusement park. Okay, which mythical creature would you rather be? A fairy, a dragon, a mermaid, or Bigfoot? Bigfoot is such a wild card in there. This is so obvious, I wanna be a fairy, but also I would want to have a dragon, you know, like mother of dragons. I want to be Violet Sorengal, so really a dragon rider if you will. Okay, what is the best wedding venue for a modern day wedding? Destination, Lake or Beach, Las Vegas, a rustic farm, house, yard, slash barn, or a gothic cathedral? Personally, I would really like to get married in a library or in the forest. So none of these options, but I think it would be very cool to get married in a gothic cathedral. One of the most annoying characteristics in other people is being a follower, being boring, being ignorant, or being defensive. Being boring, whatever. If you want to be boring, be boring. But what is boring? That's subjective. Being a follower, I already said, I don't care. I feel like if you like things other people like, then do it. It doesn't matter. I, Being a follower, being a leader, I think that we put too much um, stress on it. I think you do what makes you happy and feels right for you. Being defensive, I don't love. I don't love when people are super defensive. Though I can understand when it happens sometimes, but if you're like overly defensive, that is annoying. Being ignorant, annoying doesn't feel quite like the right word. Like, in the year of our Lord 2024, unless you live in a place where access to information is squandered, being ignorant is a choice. And I'm not sure that annoying is the right word for that. So I'm going to say being defensive. I'm putting a lot of thought into this. <laughs> Um, okay, what is your favorite kind of weather? Drizzling rain, thunderstorms, the first snowfall, or a hot, sweaty summer day? You can tell the person who wrote this does not like summer. <laughs> um, the first snowfall, that's my favorite. If it had said like, crisp autumn evening, I would have said that, but of these choices, the first snowfall. Okay, if you went missing, where would your friends and family look first? A cabin somewhere, a friend's house, at the beach, 
<laughs> my local favorite bar. They would check at my friend's house for sure. If I went missing, honestly, they would probably check my younger brother's house first. <laughs> so definitely at a friend's or a family member's house. The best way to deal with being sad is meeting up with friends, journaling, writing poetry or reading, going to the gym or doing an activity, listening to music. Your girl is clinically depressed and I do every single one of these things. The thing that immediately makes me feel better is journaling and going to the gym. I think I'm gonna say journaling, even though going to the gym is definitely way up there, but I, I think journaling, writing poetry or reading. Reading also, oh my gosh. I mean, y'all have seen this stack of books next to me right here. I'm an avid reader. Okay, what's your favorite type of coffee? Iced with caramel drizzle, I prefer tea, latte, black. Iced with caramel drizzle, easy. An easy go-to makeup look is heavy eyeliner, bronze and highlight, mascara and lip balm, blush and lipstick. Mascara and lip balm, all day, every day. What is your favorite season? We all know this, let's say in unison, fall. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're only 30% through. Oh my, I gotta start talking faster. I think tattoos are nice depending on placement, not my thing, cute if they're tiny. Awesome, I want as many as possible. It's really none of these, I love tattoos. I like all of them in any form that they come. I just am a commitment foe when it comes to something so permanent like that. I also do prefer for myself the tiny like flash kind of micro tattoos. So I'm just gonna say cute if they're tiny. The best hair accessory is a beanie, a wreath style headband, a ball cap, butterfly clips. Ooh, um. Okay, butterfly clips can be worn all year long. Beanies, not so much. Can't really wear them in the summer. So I, I feel like categorizing it as the best. Wreath style headbands, not really my thing. Um, unless it's like a crown. I do you like baseball hats, but they're, I don't always love how they, I, I'm gonna go with butterfly clips. But in all of these things, I prefer a beanie, but I can't say that it's like the best. My wedding colors would be black and velvet, pastel hues, dusty rose and burnt orange, bright colors like yellow and purple. Dusty rose and burnt orange. Dusty rose is like my favorite color. <laughs> uh, and burnt orange is also up there. What's your favorite shoe style? Sneakers, fuzzy slides, boots, or sandals? Of this group, boots. The perfect day off involves sitting outside in the sun with a cold drink, going on a mini adventure, listening to music and relaxing, sleeping in and going out later with friends. On my days off, I like to go on little mini adventures. So I will say that, yeah. I like to go to the ocean, go up to DC, go to museums, do little photo shoots, find flower fields, whatever it is. That's definitely my preference. The best place to meet someone new is at a music festival, in a coffee shop, at the club, or at my friend's house party. Okay, this is an interesting one because I have met people at my brother's, my older brother. He's got a huge group of like 40 friends. And so anytime, they always invite me to their, their functions. So anytime I go, I generally meet new people. I feel like people don't talk to each other in coffee shops, even though I'm like desiring a meet cute in a coffee shop. Music festivals, or at least concerts, I've definitely met cool people at. So yeah, I would say either at a music festival or at a friend's house party. I'm gonna go with at a friend's house party because that's just like how I meet more people. What's your dream car? A Jeep, a vintage truck, a convertible, or a van for traveling? A convertible or a van for traveling? Either one of those. I'm gonna say convertible. That's what my gut is saying. I'm just gonna listen to what my gut's saying. <laughs> All right, what color is best for a baby's room? Yellow or green, light blue or pink, gray or ocean blue, rainbow themed. Oh man, this would really depend, but I do like the idea of like green for a baby's room or like a butter yellow. I feel like that could be really pretty. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Best ice cream flavor. I'm so vanilla. <laughs> I love vanilla, but actually they picked great flavors because I love cookie dough and I love mint chocolate chip as well. I think I'm just gonna say vanilla because I am a vanilla gal. If strawberry had been on this list, you know I would have picked it. Choose your favorite accessory, a mini purse, a scarf, stacked necklaces or sneakers. Stacked necklaces. What's your dream job? Oh, that I knew. Uh, of these options. Real estate mogul is absolutely not it. Comedian, not really a comedy gal professional musician or librarian teacher. Growing up, it was my dream to be a pop star or a Broadway baby. And also I'm currently considering, because again, I don't know what I'm doing with my life, going back to school to get my master's in library sciences. So librarian teacher, 
I don't know guys. Life is so complicated and difficult. But then I think I also overcomplicate it. You know what I mean? Let me know if you guys agree. Okay, the best city to stay would be New York, Miami, a quiet town in the south, San Francisco, California. So recently I've been applying for jobs all over the world. Like literally I applied for a job in London the other day. Um, but one place I've always romanticized and I think it's because I'm from New York. I grew up on Long Island. Um, I think I've always romanticized living in New York City. Then also lately I've been thinking to myself, I wanna live, I think, I think, con I'm considering the idea of living in a small city kind of waterside town. I already live in a quiet small town in the South, but a small city near the ocean is the vibe I think I'm like looking for at this junction. All that to say, either New York City or a quiet town in the south. Just depends on how south we're talking, but I think right now, that's where my heart is. What is the perfect restaurant for a dinner date? Pizza parlor, a sports bar, a trendy sushi spot, or a cocktail bar? Considering I'm allergic to shellfish and salmon, not a sushi bar, um, it's a pizza parlor for me. You can never ever go wrong with pizza for me. Choose a type of cake. Carrot cake with cream cheese frosting, swirl cupcakes, chocolate fudge, rainbow, vanilla rainbow sprinkle. Uh, so i.e. Funfetti. Um, funfetti and carrot cake are two of my faves. I'm gonna, for the sake of different, pick carrot cake because I picked vanilla ice cream. Oh my gosh. We're 53% through. All right, let me start tap tapping away. All right, what's your favorite genre of television, sitcom, interior design, reality, murder mystery? Sitcom, I guess, because I love Friends and How I Met Your Mother and Schitt's Creek, but like dramas for sure. Choose a singer, Miley Cyrus, Lord, Olivia Rodrigo, or Billie Eilish. I hear to say Billie. When you visit a mall, where's the first place you go? Food court, clothing store, music store, bath and body care store. That's funny. Um, clothing store. Uh, the best way to listen to music is on a record player and headphones at a concert in the car with friends. All of the above. My record player is right here. Headphones is actually the best way to hear the highest quality of music. At a concert is the best way to experience music. And in a car with friends is the best way to make memories surrounding music. So there are so, so many <laughs> great options here. My favorite way to listen to music is at a concert. I am a concert junkie to the core. Choose a plant. Cactus, bamboo plant, and a trailing ivy, and succulents. A trailing ivy, anything trailing always. Okay, what's the best breakfast meal? Waffles or pancakes, bacon and eggs, a smoothie, yogurt, fruit, and berries. Funnily enough, I love waffles, don't like pancakes, even though they're like basically the same. From this, I'm gonna pick bacon and eggs, but I'm a sausage and eggs gal instead. But if it's like burnt bacon, I'll eat it. <laughs> A Friday night in the summer is best spent sitting around a campfire, at a party with friends, recovering from day drinking, or going to a show or concert. I think sitting around the campfire. I love going to shows and concerts, but it's actually, I have done like lots of outdoor concerts in summer, and I gotta say, very, very hot. I prefer it in the cooler weather. So sitting around the campfire. Choose a drink. Can of beer or cider, rum and coke, vodka soda and lime, glass of red or white wine. Rum and coke. When I do drink, it's gonna be a rum and coke or a whiskey coke or a white wine or a Moscow meal. What? I'm not like super picky, but I like also don't drink that often. So whatever. What's your favorite art style? This is actually so easy for me. Impressionism, particularly I love the American Impressionism. Uh, movement is like one of my favorites. What's your ideal home? Cottage in the woods with lots of indoor plants, apartment with big windows and frilly curtains and lots of color, detached futuristic home designed by a famous architect and loft apartment with exposed pipes and brickwork. Cottage in the woods with lots of indoor plants. What country would you love to visit? Switzerland, Turkey, Japan, England. So I've been to England, and I'd love to go back, um, but because I've been, I think I'll like exclude that from the mix. Um, of the other three options, which are Japan, Switzerland, and Turkey, I think I'm gonna say Japan. Your ideal partner is someone confident and classy, someone lovely, cute, and caring, someone artistic, someone good looking and fun. I think lovely, cute, and caring. I'm not asking for too much. <laughs> If you could travel back in time, where would you go? I love that they use this photo from Back to the Future. I go to the late 1800s and live as an artist in a home in the countryside. I go to the late 80s and live as a musician. Absolutely not. 
You know who was a musician in the 80s? My father. I've heard his stories. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> Go back to the late 90s and live my Seinfeld fantasy. I was born in the late 90s. Don't think I need to go back there. Um, and then I traveled to the early 2000s to see Britney Spears live. She's still performing. She's not gone. Just go to Vegas. That leaves me with the 1800s and I don't, I don't know about that. The 1800s is not like a lovely time to be alive. But I guess if I'm going to be an artist in the countryside, I'll take it. If that's what I could do with life now, I'd do it. <laughs> What's your favorite app? Instagram, Spotify, Twitter, Pinterest. Hot take, I use Apple Music. <laughs> of these, I'm going to say Instagram. Pick a quote. All good things are wild and free. <laughs> that is so 2016 coded. Ugh. Wanting to be someone else is a waste of the person you are. I'm swimming in a sea of words, attempting to keep my head above water. That's intense. And the only rule is don't be boring and dress cute. Wherever you go, life is too short to blend in. I'm gonna say wanting to be someone else is a waste of your of the person you are. What is your favorite kind of live event? An author's book signing, an underground gig, a good house party, or garage sales and flea markets. Can't say I've ever been to an underground gig, though I think that'd be pretty fun. I'm gonna say an author's book signing. How do you feel about vintage things? I prefer to shop in the present. I like to collect antiques. I love curated thrift shops. All my clothes are thrifted. Um, not all of my clothes are thrifted. A lot of my clothes are thrifted. Um, I would say I love curated thrift stores. What's your favorite animal? Horse, dog, cats, rabbits. Dogs. Pick a board game. Chess, Battleship, Monopoly, Operation. Absolutely none of the above. If I'm gonna pick one of these, I don't know how to play chess, but I'd love to learn, so I think I'm gonna say chess. What is your favorite kind of tea? Green, black, fruity, herbal. I am a black tea gal. What would you never say no to? A walk in the park, grabbing drinks with friends, going to a concert, going shopping. Probably a walk in the park? The hobby you would like to pick up. Making short films, cooking, doing nail art, writing poetry. I would love to make short films, that would be fun. What do you love most about yourself? My taste in music, my compassion, empathy for others, my fun personality, my creativity. Is it like cringe to say my compassion and empathy for others? I think that is what I like the most about myself though. Your, what's your favorite snack? Chips, candy, fruit, cookies, chips. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? So awkward, didn't realize that the camera stopped rolling during this portion, but the options are as an artist living at home with pets in a popular band that tours the world, the head of a fashion brand or settling down with a partner and loving life. To be honest, I would like three of the four of these options. Being an artist, living at home with pets, being the head of a fashion brand, and also settling down with a partner and loving life. But I think I'm gonna pick settling down with a partner and loving life. When do you feel happiest? When I'm journaling, when I'm creating something, when I'm listening to or making music, when I'm with my friends. Out of these four options, I think I am gonna say when I'm creating something. What's your favorite candle scent? Vanilla. Anything cookie scented, that that makes sense. What's your favorite time of day? Afternoon, late night, evening, and mornings. Evening. I love sunset time. Congrats, you finished. Here's your result, cottagecore. <laughs> That's, I didn't expect that to be the thing. It's because I picked artist in the countryside, I think. Because honestly, I don't know like which of these things, that's so funny. I don't know which of these things would have actually resulted in that. I wish it like broke down the results. So it says cottagecore, deep down at heart, you have major cottagecore energy. While everyone is out partying and spending insane amounts of money, you are content to curl up inside with a book or some music and relax and unwind. Yes. Maybe you open a bottle of wine and dance the night away in your living room, who knows. You love when the seasons change and can't wait to put on a cardigan. I mean, that's me. That is me to a T. That's creepy. This actually got me down. It pegged me down. Okay. Well, this quiz was accurate for me. I would love to know what you guys got as your result. So um, without further ado, here are some cottagecore outfits because apparently I'm a cottagecore. Okay, so for outfit number one, we're going with this look here. We'll start from the bottom, work our way up. First up, I have on these little Oxford shoes. 
Oxfords for me are such a classic. They're a go-to. They're a staple shoe for me. I wear them with so very many different aesthetics and styles. Within the cottagecore aesthetic, you can totally wear Oxfords. You can also do something like a Mary Jane or just like a woven kind of sandal, just a basic sandal. Birkenstocks works really well. There are just so many shoe options within the cottagecore aesthetic. I just liked this kind of mismatch, kind of mashup of dark academia and cottagecore that very much works for me and my style. And I do feel like there is a lot of overlap with dark academia and cottagecore. And I think if you ask some cottagecore girlies, they would tell you their autumn aesthetic and their winter aesthetic is dark academia. They kind of feel like foils of each other in a lot of ways, so that does feel quite natural to me anyway. So yeah, I just have on these shoes here. They've seen better days for sure but I will love them until I can no longer wear them they're from the brand wild pair I believe I got them at Macy's moving up I have on this little dress here this is a pinafore that I thrifted on Poshmark recently it I think is vintage it's from the brand Metropolitan New York this is in a size medium and I do feel like it fits whether it's vintage or not it does fit like a contemporary medium like this fits pretty well anytime there's a pinafore in the room you can bet I will scream from the rooftop how much I love them. I feel like pinafore dresses are so beautiful. One, they're incredibly flattering. I've literally never seen somebody not look stunning in a pinafore. I just think they're beautiful garments. They're also incredibly versatile. If you're the kind of person like me, who kind of pops around aesthetics, so many, so many options. So 10 out of 10 recommend a good pinafore. One of my favorite ways to style a pinafore, especially when I'm doing cottagecore looks or sort of fantasy looks with them, hobbity kind of stuff, is an off the shoulder top. The same is true of overalls. I love wearing an off the shoulder top with any sort of like tank top situation. You could do the same thing with like a tank top or a corset top with an off the shoulder top underneath. This I got on Amazon. I got it about a year or so ago when I went to a Ren Fair. It's in my Ren Fair list on my Amazon storefront. So you guys can check that out if you want. It's in the description down below. Um, I would size down on this top. It definitely runs a little bit on the bigger side unless you're super busty, but then this is a really great top for you. There's a lot of space in the bust area, so just something to bear in mind. I love the texture and movement that putting a sleeveless top or dress with a off the shoulder dress or top kind of gives. It does kind of do a cold shoulder situation, which I know is kind of a divisive <laughs> silhouette, but I personally love how it looks, and especially in the fantasy or cottage core looks, I just feel like it works so well. I mean, this is a really simple, basic look. You can easily even do this with just like a sleeveless dress. You don't even need it to be specifically a pinafore, and then just chuck on a belt, and it gives the exact same effect. I absolutely love this look here. For accessories, I just threw on, as I mentioned the other week, one of my Campalo necklaces, I just feel like Campalo is the brand for cottagecore necklaces. I absolutely love it. This is my little um, queen bear that I got going on here. For my earrings, I just have on little blue mushrooms. They're a different color from the teal of this shirt, but they're close enough that I felt like they worked really well. Also, I have some mushroom clips in my hair, so I felt like they married really well with the clips in my hair. I also just have on some random little rings. As always, I am a big rings gal, and I'm currently back in the swing of wearing as many rings as I feel like I can. So I have four on my hands at the moment. Um, I would love to get some stackable rings, but I just don't have any at the moment. So these are from all different places. This one's Pandora, this one's Etsy, this one's from Walmart, and this one is from a Ren Fair. I believe, or an antique store, one of the two. And then this bag here is just a black and brown bag with a sort of marbled um, horn, like a ram horn, bull horn kind of situation on the front. Uh, this is from my aunt. I have no idea where she got it. They're, what is the brand? What is the brand? Stella and Dot. <laughs> Um, I have no idea. It's it's quite old. I've had it for many years now. You guys, I'm sure, have seen it around. I like mixing in this bag because it has this sort of natural woven texture in the brown section, but then the black, which mixed in the rest of the outfit. I love using sort of natural materials when I'm doing cottage core outfits, or at least materials that kind of feel natural, like a weave like this. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is a really cute outfit. This is like super comfortable. And just like FYI, I'm always wearing bike shorts underneath all of my dresses and skirts. These are from the Jockeys brand, which you can get online, you can get on Target's website, you can get in their stores. Okay, so here's outfit number two. This one, I felt like I wanted to go a little bit more sort of like we're going on an adventure, traipsing through the woods, foraging for some mushrooms kind of vibes, you know? Something where you're wearing shorts instead of a skirt or a dress, especially since some of my 
guys might not wear skirts and dresses so maybe you're looking for something with shorts in mind which by the way i feel like most of these outfits if there's a skirt involved you can swap those out for shorts or pants but this outfit i also feel like it does a great job of showing the intersection between cottage core and dark academia these shorts would be perfect for a bunch of different dark academia outfits it's very like on an archaeological dig in the summer vibes you know what i'm saying so overall i feel like this is kind of giving like adventure core cottage core if you will so we'll start from the bottom and work our way up as we do i just have on these faux brown leather sandals that also have this strap over the top of the foot if you will that kind of looks like denim but it's elastic i love a good leather and cork sandal the bottom of these are cork so they're kind of very similar to a birkenstock which is kind of like a prime example of a cottage core shoe so yeah love these for that moving on i have on these pants here i don't remember the brand off the top of my head but i thrifted these at the goodwill if you have any questions about them let me know down below i did turn these into shorts they were pants and then i just cut them. I used a pair of shorts I already had as a guide and then shortened them and I like them so much more as shorts. I kind of had stopped wearing them as pants and so this, I'm so happy to have them. They're in an almost linen-y feeling material. I can't quite put my finger on what the material is. It's got a lot of texture to it for sure, but it's pretty thin, so nice for the summer months. The color also I feel like works really well for cottage core. Neutral tones are a big part of this aesthetic. To be honest, I couldn't really tell you what color these shorts are. They're like a greenish brown color. So yeah, some people have looked at them and told me they're green. Some see them and tell me that they're brown. To my eyes, they look brown. Um, but I can see like undertones of orange and undertones of green, which are also very natural and neutral kind of colors. I added on this little brown belt here. This brown is a really similar color to the brown leather in the shoe. They're not quite the same. Those are a bit more red, but I wanted to add another sort of leather element to the look. Moving up, I have on this white off the shoulder top. This is from H&M. I got this absolute ages ago and it is just such a classic i had initially thrifted one a long time ago if you've been here for some years now and it had sort of floaty sleeves and it was just such bad quality i loved that shirt with every fiber of my being but it fell apart and then one day i happened to be walking through h&m and i saw this shirt and was like this is a great replacement and I've had it for years now and it has held up normally I wouldn't say that about H&M but in this case it did <laughs> moving up I just have on this little acorn necklace I got this when I went on a little trip to Vermont just like a little acorn it's a glass bead with the acorn top and then a little sun charm it's on a sort of cord for earrings I have on some dangling butterflies and some just like generic studs crystally studs in the back same rings as before and then in my hair i have this hair bandana it says london on it and there's the london skyline on the back i actually thrifted this at the goodwill and i just all things english just feel cottage core to me oh and then of course how can i forget my bag this is a little mushroom bag um one of my best friends gave this to me i believe she bought it on amazon but i know that you can find these all over the place it's just so cute <laughs> it's so cute it's just a perfect little red mushroom and i felt like it added a nice pop of color to an otherwise quite neutral toned down outfit okay you guys have no doubt seen me style this corset i thrifted it it's originally from cider you've seen it in a ton of cottage core videos if you've been around for a while however because you've probably seen this one if you've been around i wanted to show you a new option i actually made this top i'm actually gonna be showing you guys a tutorial on how i make the dress version of this which is so so similar to the top but with that out of the way let's start from the bottom and work our way up starting off with these shoes these are originally from target and i actually have the heels version of these too and for some reason the heels are much more comfortable um and they're in pink moving up i have on this dress here which i believe is from anthropology i bought this when it was on like massive sale and it was like the first thing i ever bought from anthropology and to be honest i don't wear this dress that often but it's perfect for cosplays, for run fairs, for things like that. I actually think it would look really good with like skirt hikes or something along those lines. My favorite part about this dress is the sleeves. They're just so big and billowy and I just, I love it. Otherwise, this dress pretty much looks like a Victorian nightgown. But to curb that issue, I paired it with this belt here. I thrifted this. And then of course, like I said, this top here, which I made. I use a dress pattern. It's for a milkmaid dress. Um, and then instead of putting the sleeves on, it actually calls for puff sleeves. I just put on straps 
straps instead. I thrifted this fabric actually. I got it at a garage sale. Then moving on for accessories, I just have on a little necklace here that I got at Maurice's. It just says be kind. There's a little flower and a little heart on it and I just thought it was so perfect. It tied in with the floral pattern on the top. For my earrings, I just have on these little tulips here that are from my store, um, which will be coming back. So if you're interested, they'll be on the, sh on the shop when it relaunches in late August. For my hair this time, I threw it in half up, half down and being very inspired by a clothes horse, I threw in a little hair sword. Oh, all right, you guys, I'm losing steam a little bit. Alpha four. <laughs> <laughs> Starting in the bottom. First of all, I think this is my favorite outfit of the bunch so far. To me, this feels like the most wearable of the bunch, a little bit more like boho. I don't know, I really like it. It still very much leans into cottagecore. I feel like this is a perfect example of how you can create a cottagecore outfit with other pieces in your wardrobe. You don't have to have a specific wardrobe for cottagecore looks because I mean, these are really at the core of it are basics. So again, I have on those leather cork fake denim sandals. Absolutely love these things. As I said before, Target. This skirt here, which is one of my favorites. You guys have undoubtedly seen it. I wear it all the time. Thrifted this at the Goodwill. It is amazing. I love the skirt so much. Again, if you guys want brand names of any specific item, let me know down below. But yeah, I love this skirt so much. It's just like the perfect tiered prairie skirt. It isn't like tight fitted anywhere, which is one of my biggest pet peeves with tiered prairie skirts like this when they are like tight fitted in that first sort of section, if you will. I like that this one is just loose and flowy all over the place. It's got great swooshability. <laughs> And I just, I love it. It's just lightweight, really thin. Are there a couple holes in it? Sure. But like, I've had this for like five years now, I think, four or five years. She's lived a life. And then moving up, I have on this red off the shoulder top here. This I believe is from Charlotte Russe, but it was given to me, it was like a hand-me-down from my older brother's girlfriend. The belt is the same as before. So I did this at the Goodwill too. Again, pretty sure it's like a farming belt. 10 out of 10 recommend looking in like small towns if you're looking for more cottage core kinds of things. I, like I mentioned before, live in a small sort of countryside town. So farming and horseback riding and like rodeos and things like that are a big part of the culture here. So I often find myself lucking out with some cool bits and bobs that fit within the cottage core aesthetic when I'm out thrifting. Kept on all of the same accessories as before. I felt like they all worked really well. The only exception is I added this little hair ribbon in which I made. I actually altered a skirt that I thrifted a few years back and I had some leftover material so I just used it to make little hair ties. The floral print in the hair tie matches the shirt perfectly so I was really excited to get to use that. For my bag I just have on another one that has that sort of natural woven material kind of look. It is this cream woven one with a brown strap and like brown leather surrounds if you will. Um, this is from Walmart. Okay friends here is the last outfit. Now this one I feel like is another really really wearable one made up of just basics. Same shoes. Because honestly, you don't really need that many different types of shoes to put together cottagecore outfits. Moving on, I have on this skirt here. This is actually a like sport skirt, if you will. It's made out of like a sweatpant material, which I've always thought is so interesting. I found a couple of these once upon a time at the thrift store. This is the only one I have left. The other one ended up getting ruined with some like oil stains that I couldn't get out. Um, but I love, love, love this skirt. I almost got rid of it not too long ago because I hadn't worn it in a while. Then I tried it on and I was like, wait, why haven't I worn this skirt? It's a lovely length. I like this. It's kind of like a T length on me so just kind of like in between the shin and the knee it's got pockets it's made again like of that sweatpant material it's stretchy around the waistband so super comfortable and it's that really rich sort of foresty green color that i love moving up i have on this shirt here this is from sag harbor actually which i mentioned earlier is one of my favorite thrifted brands this shirt is just so pretty the details in the embroidery and then the rosette buttons up the front are absolutely stunning. I actually felt like there was enough detail in the top that I didn't really need a necklace, so I didn't throw one on because I feel like this is kind of an art piece. I love the different tonation. This is sort of a sagey green and then we have that sort of dark, sort of almost olive-y khaki green in the embroidery and then that sort of orangey gold color mixed in and then of course the silver rosette buttons 
absolutely love this t-shirt and also it's a t-shirt so it's so comfortable then i kept on the same earrings i felt like they worked perfectly they kind of tied in the sort of floral ness of everything going on here and then in my hair i threw in this little gold claw clip that has a little dangly bit on it it is shaped like a butterfly which i thought was so sweet and then for the final little accessory i thought i would share with you guys this bag I actually made this and it will be on the web shop i thought this was a perfect opportunity to share this with you guys since i will be releasing aesthetic based collections so in the first launch in this relaunch of the shop we'll have whimsigoth cottage core and what i'm calling mediterranean in summer there will also be some y2k stuff hopefully um and then just autumn just like autumn things but this will be a part of the cottage core drop it is just a quilted tote bag with a little gingham lining and a little pocket and then on the front you have the little mouse and strawberry print this little seafoam green a tan plaid and then that pink and red and white gingham on the outside it's so freaking cute and i'm really really happy with how they turned out they take forever to make because quilting is for sure a labor of love but i'm obsessed with how they turned out and i can't wait for you guys to have the opportunity to check them out but yeah this is this look i love this one like i said it feels again really wearable because these are just like basics but they also work really well for cottage core and here we have it Alrighty guys, this was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to know if you took this quiz what aesthetic it gave you. Um, good to know that um, cottagecore is my personality aesthetic apparently. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. It's totally free and I'll let you know when I upload new videos. I create fashion content, everything from styling videos to thrifting to aesthetic explorations and more. You can also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and check me out on social media if you want to see subsequent contents. If you guys are interested in following my web shop, those social handles will be linked down below too. I'm hoping end of August to relaunch the store. And I think that's now all I have for you guys. So don't forget, it costs absolutely nothing to be kind. So be kind to yourself and others. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.